So here we are again, we're in Leicester, at a location that's quite known. Well, it seems that way, as you can see, because somebody's already been here before us. We've got a couple of bike frames here. The weeds are growing over them, it's so been it that long. been there a while. Uh, and then just behind as well, you've got some another bike frame again. Uh, so yeah, I mean, everybody's going on about, you know, people cleaning up after themselves and so on and things like that. I don't want people looking at me and looking down at me thinking I'm doing it. So I just wanted to show, well, that it's not me. Um, so anyway, right, what we have. We have, oh, and I'm sorry I didn't record all the way through, it's just because of how it's raining, and I didn't want to wet my phone. So we have one bar, not quite sure what it is, I think. I think it's part of the old gate, because there did used to be a different kind of gate across here. And I think that might have been the sides for that. So there's one. Uh, and then we've got two of those. got a big ring, very big, look, right up. look at that, look, it can fit round me. No hula hooping now. It's a hula hoop, but I thought it might have been a basketball hoop, but it doesn't seem like it. It's not completely rounded, it's smoothed on the inside, so I'm not sure about that one. Ooh, now this, I'm not sure. It's heavy, I can say that, but if anybody can let me know in the comments what they think it is, or any ideas, it'd be very useful. You can see, but it is heavy. Bit of a bike chain, which means obviously that's probably from those two bike frames, I would imagine. Uh, bracelet. Magnetic, so it's nothing special. Um, looks like something is, somebody's tried to pop like a Pandora, do not it? Yeah. And then we got... This is really small, this is. The okay, little Matt will love this. Got a little baby padlock. <laughs> Take that back for little Mac. Yes, little Mac's at school. Um, so I'm going to be going away for a couple of weeks on work, so I thought I'd get some recording in for you guys ready. So that means I'm not going to be missing any uploads. I've also got a pan. I'll tell you if you could use that. Glenn, if you could send this down to you, you can give it to the Johnsons. You might be able to use that for your bacon sarnies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh, another piece of metal. And we've got a pair of scooter handlebars. But from the look of them, I wouldn't say it's an ordinary scooter. I'm thinking more like a... Electrical. Either electrical or maybe an engine powered one, I'd say. It's quite heavy duty that is. Uh, it does say... I can't even see what that says. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what that says. Right, but that's what it says on the handlebars. If anybody can read it, I'm not quite sure. You see it? Yeah. Sort yeah. of. Sort of. Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, and we had a banging time as well, you know, with the hammer. I am going to take that one back though, I'm going to clean that one. It is an older style one, that is. We'll put that in the box. Ooh. Another bit of bar. Another bar. Oh, we have found a few pennies, two peas, and all that as well. Now, this, I am going to try and research this. Um, safety hoist gate, the circle of service, JE Lesser, 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 and Sons Limited, Boreham, 
London, SW17, phone, it says Ballum 36178. If anybody can actually give me the information on it, that would be useful. As you can see, it is a nice little sign. So I'm going to try and find out if it's dated. Well, if I can find any date about the business to do with this with this sign. So yes, that was probably the most interesting thing so far. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move on locations because we need to find a bridge because we want to get dry, as you can yes. see. Yes. These were light grey when I came out. And so I yes. get the umbrella. Yeah, you get the umbrella. So keep watching, enjoy. Speak to you guys soon. And Steph pulled out a nice motorbike frame. Let's see. But I'm not sure what the model or make is. I have tried scraping across it with my scraper, getting all this this all this stuff off. And I can't seem to find any uh, find anything plus. I won't even know where to look on the frame. <laughs> so yes. Motorbike frame. Quite light actually. Now we've got this bag. I've not looked in it yet. Can you see it? Still? Yeah. Sure. Alright. I've not looked in this bag yet. So we're looking together. Alright, so first thing I see. A brick. It's a nice brick. Nice red one. Not as fancy brick, that's nice and clean though. Ooh. <laughs> so it's a tray out of a cash box. Oh, there's a crayfish in here. You like? Yes, he is. Come on, get it out. Let's get it. Get it. Got crayfish. See now, I know it's illegal to put them back in, but what that can do is I can put it on the floor. All right. And if he goes back in, that's his problem. Not mine. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Like a paper chain. Like a paper chain. Paper chain sort of thing, yeah, I'm just cut out. Now that I know is a sponge out of a like a ring box or earrings, something like that. Yeah. And we are trying the best to keep it bright as well. I keep looking at the camera and I'm, I'm going blind because I've got my light on. <laughs> I can't see a thing now. Is the bag empty still what? Alright, so we've got bottom half of a jewellery box. I think that's that sponge there, I think. What do you reckon? Full of water? Or is it a heavy sponge? Full of water. Ah! It's full of water! Are we sure? Yeah, it's full of water. Yeah. yeah. A, a wet sponge. It's an empty one. And for some of you that might ask, if I can read that, that light, that light. Magenta Jewellers. Oh, it's on 53 Belgrave Road in Leicester. There we go. Uh, 1947. Oh, it's a shilling. Oh, it's a shilling. Oh, cool. It's a shilling. Not a shilling yet. Have I got that the right way around? No, oh, wait, let's turn it around a bit. If you can see it. All right, hold on. There we are. Can you see it? Oh, cool. So we've got a nice shilling. There we are, look, so you can see a bit more. See, it's good having that torch on. Oop. Dry it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the other end of the shilling. Oh, there it is. So we've got a shilling. Oh, that's different. It's pretty cool. It's getting better. Nice piece of history. Oh, yes. I tell you what, I'd rather find history than any gun, grenade, knife any day. There's another shilling again. So any of you that are watching that know much about shillings, if you could tell me a bit of history about them, you know, or any experiences you've got with your shillings or what you used to be able to buy with a shilling, I'd like to know that, especially the price of things nowadays. So if you could put some comparisons down there in the comments, that would be very interesting for me to know. Yeah, two more shillings. Front end of a motorbike. <sighs> well, not too bad today. Most of it is literally rubbish, so it will be all bagged up and disposed of um, and Brett will 
and be contacting the scrap man. Always knew you were a big kid. I can't scoot it. There we are, well scooter. Right, so that's it then we've had a, well, it's not been a bad day. No. It's been all right. Yep. So we've got quite a few bits, obviously we've got the scrap pile behind us. I have literally just come off the phone to the scrap man as well. He's expecting he should be within next hour, but he's also going to be sending me pictures of it cleaned. So I'll also put them in so you can see that it's actually been collected. So yeah, so we've had our coins. Wet day. Yeah, well we've had a wet day. We've had the coins, a few jewellery boxes in a bag with a brick, loads of balls, uh, the armour head. Um, and a nice little sign. Oh, yeah, a nice little sign. I will and try and find... Little, little tiny padlock that he yeah. will go berserk for. Berserk, berserk. Berserk, berserk. Okay. Well, I am going to try and find out some information about that sign, but remember like, share, subscribe, comment. And remember, if you're going to stick a thumbs down, what's with my eyeball? If you're going to put a thumbs down, make sure you put in the comments the reason why so we can improve if we have to change anything. Yep. Um, and Little Matt reads every comment and he loves it, so if you can, leave a little nice little comment to boost him up. He's not been wanting to manage this for a while. Yeah, we so we're trying to get him sort of back into it. Yeah, but uh, so... Nice comments might help. Uh, I will have a better list next time, but I am going to do a shout out for, obviously, Scott Hargood and family. So that's yep. the crazy magnet family Hargood. Good old then Uncle you, Scott. Then you've got Glenn and his missus from Peaky Dippers. You've got the Johnsons with John and his family. Awesome um, family. Else. Uh, Nigel. Nigel and Dan from Nige. North Ants Magnus Fishing. <laughs> Pack it in. Uh, and then you've also got Dave and Brogan. So Magtech UK. Boys. And also Drastic G. So yeah. hopefully you're watching this one. Make sure you stick us a thumbs up and stick a comment down there as well. Kenzie thinks you're awesome. He <laughs> loves your Rubik's Cube video. So keep it up. <laughs> so yeah, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed the video, something a little bit different where it's just a pair of us without the kids. That's very feels, strange for us. It feels really weird. But yes, enjoy. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.